Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the California Golden Bears and the Washington State Cougars. Number 25 is a name that appears on every team scouting report when they play against this ball club. This guy can be you in so many ways on offense. He can really stroke the J, and he also moves well without the ball. That makes him an offensive nightmare for a defender. The Cougars will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Cougars know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. Number one, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Next, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Third, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. Inside, tries for two, perfectly executed. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. They work it around the perimeter, fed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two, can't get the shot to drop. He'll regroup the offense. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This is just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. When I think of home court advantage, this is what I see and this is what I hear. The crowd's fired up, and I'm sure the team is too. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. From beyond the arc, the Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss Nick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Takes it off and fires it down. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The power forward receives the ball. And now the fadeaway jumper. You talk about versatility. There are many guys that when they make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch. Impossible to block that shot. On the outside, number 35 handles the pass. He shoots from downtown. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, they'd be in trouble. Someone else needs to step up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble, gives it up. Too much. That's a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Tucson receives the pass from right in the circle. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. That's a 7-0 run. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Great play to take that to the basket.
comes away with it. The point guard handles the feed. Look at that spacing. The skip pass is picked off. California have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Trying to pack it inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Now the high screen. Entry pass in the paint. Easy one. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. They work the perimeter. The Golden Bears have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Off the rim and no good. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Both teams looking to get things going here. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And the ball goes out of play. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion. What an edge for the home team. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps in. He puts it in with contact and all. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. It's good. Goes up for two. And in and out. Inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in his deck. Where's he going? Pushing that basketball. Stolen ball. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Drains it. He intercepts it. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. What is euphoria out there? They're really excited. They're going bananas. Jumped in front to take it away. Dick, the atmosphere. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted on the dribble, gives it up. shot clock he shoots from the baseline he gets another shot off and in and this show is about to start Brad picks off the lazy pass 
Newton is feeling great out there right now. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. They scored eight in a row. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, gave it up. They've left him completely alone. California have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He fouled him. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The post flashes up high if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up. From three-point range. Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBN, nothing but that. Golden Bears can really crank it up on the defensive end. It's great to know that when shots aren't falling, your team can rely on their defense. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Buries it. around the arc. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Now they're working around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got the high pick. Ten seconds on the clock. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Both teams looking to get things going here. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork getting to the spot. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Picks off the pass. He dials long distance. Washington State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put them off it. That's basic. For the bucket, you betcha. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. He tries a jump hook, and he missed. He takes the shot off the baseline, way off target. 
The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. On the inside. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Here's a flash from the post up high. He makes a nice shot fake. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Transition offense. Poor job defensively. You don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Post flasher is open. Set that screen away. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He tries a jump hook. The Golden Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Tries to get the D to bite. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Takes away the pass. On the outside. Looking for contact. Washington State have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Top, controlling the ball, perfectly executed. They move it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He drains the three. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that off. There's the block. 
with a long bomb. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. He starts the fast break. For two, he buries the shot. Picked off. He up fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Number 35 with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. Goes up for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Can't get the shot to go. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Gave it up. He's got some room. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. It's the replay, please. Opportunity for two for one. Defense giving some room. From the top of the key. Gets it to fall. was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Here they come with a double team to stop it. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. You've got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. Puts up a prayer. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Cougars are behind by three. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Washington State has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to nail with ease, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice high post screen.
Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And the ball goes out of bounds. Post flashes. Ball handlers in trouble. Robs him of the ball. The defender's applying pressure and he goes for the steal. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Momentary look from three-point land. There's a double team waiting there. Unloads a three. Drains the shot. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Picked out of the air. Top of the circle. You bet. For two, perfectly executed. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Great vision. Look at him. Head up. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Look at that student body. They are going mad. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. There's the pick. Great play to take that to the basket. Steals a pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. He hits it. We got to see that one again. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Norton pounded. It. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. You've got that right, Brad. Norton steps to the line for the first time. Gets it. That's eight on answer. Dribble gives it up. He intercepts it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper or the bucket. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Surprised that they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Jumped in front to take it away. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim.
intercepted. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. The Golden Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Look at that spacing. Entry pass in the paint. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Fakes a jumper. Tries for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Stolen. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. I need to see that again, Brad. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gave it up. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Can we give them the ball, though? They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. In the paint. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And back they come the other way. For two. Up and in. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Here's a double team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work the perimeter. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Goes up for two. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. Kick it back outside. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He shoots from the top of the circle. Great shot. <laughs> Blocks the shot. With a great block. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Scores it, and he's fouled. And one opportunity here. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. At the foul line. He got it. That's a seven-zip run.
steals the pass. Long down court pass. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. have a number of seniors in their lineup that factor alone will definitely help their cause from three-point land sinks the shot second earlier. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, and off the mark. And now they'll bring it up. He launches the bomb. He gets it to go. And the fans here are loving the action. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. That's exactly what they expect from him. That young man is doing some great things for this program, Dick. Hey, Brad, he's what I call a PTP, a primetime player. When the spotlight is on, he usually performs. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. Falls despite the contact. On the inside. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. There's the screen up on top. He gets the bucket.
Fakes the shot. He goes with a baby hook. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Takes the pass in the paint. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. He hits the first shot. Hits the second. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there. Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Stolen ball. Gave it up. He's open if he wants the shot. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. On the dribble, gives it up. Step out on that screener. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting him the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. Gave it up. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt on the outside. Looking for a good shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He'll go to the line. Gets the first shot. Second shot. Takes the shot. He nails the bucket. For the deuce. Rims out. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to fall. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Double team now, bad angle. He comes away with it. Here we go on the break for the bucket. Lays it up. This one deserves another look, Brad. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect that are saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They're working around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. And a 
and momentary look from three-point land. Perkins receives the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. They work it around the arc. Takes the pass in the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Nick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Defense got it after knocking it loose. The ball goes out of bounds. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. They work the perimeter. Looks at a three. He makes the shot. Roll it back again, fellas. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Wide open for the shot. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, man. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, thanks, Aaron. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Good defensive pressure. Head right on the ball. Drive him to the spot you like to take him and then beat him. He shoots from the top of the key. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. Don't waste a lot of time. Fall right away. Gave it up. The small forward receives the pass. Sets the screen for his teammate. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Shot clock is dead. Sure, they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. And the clock stopped with a foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult.
the players got a much needed breather with that time up. That makes it a four point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. The shooting guard gets the pass. He takes the shot off the baseline. You're going to be seeing this one all week. That turnover leaves this game wide open. Yes, sir. Open for the taking, Mr. Nestler. The winner of this one might be a surprise, baby. Rims out. And he scores despite the half. seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. For two. Makes it. He was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Washington State played well against a good team tonight for the win. Well, they may have come in a little overconfident, but they held their composure at the end. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.